This is New York Nightly News with Chuck Scarborough, live on New York Nonstop. There's another health threat that affects Americans every year, and summer is the season when you're most likely to get it, especially if you spend time outdoors. A new documentary called Under Our Skin is shedding new light on Lyme disease and revealing some startling cases. Take a look. We have, I think, a horrible epidemic. It's the next tsunami. I used to do ballet. She just went downhill very fast. I went from being a gifted athlete to there's times when I, it's hard to put a shirt on. It just doesn't seem possible that this poppy seed sized thing is going to make you bedridden, possibly for the rest of your life. There's Lyme disease everywhere. It's more prevalent than AIDS. How many more people are going to suffer before the truth comes out? As citizens, we ought to be astonished and alarmed. The major medical journals have published that chronic Lyme disease is not real and it's a psychosomatic condition. Such a waste. Insurance companies trying to get rid of doctors who cost them a lot of money. What he'll do will be to cite that there's no such thing as chronic Lyme disease. They don't want to pay. It is difficult for doctors who want to stand up and help these patients. Dr. Jim Sachs, license is suspended. There's a message that's going to be sent to the other doctors that it's not safe to take a Lyme patient on and treat them. Well, joining us now is a director and producer of Under Our Skin, Andy Abrams. Oh, Andy Abrams Wilson, pardon me, and Mandy Hughes, who's a chronic Lyme patient. Welcome, both of you. Uh, you. Andy, what, what motivated you to do this documentary? Well, it was really accidental. I, it was, Lyme disease was something that was just in the background. My sister had it years ago. She mm -hmm. lives in upstate New York. And I just remember she was tired and achy all the time. And, and that's it. And uh, a friend of mine out in California, which is where I live now, got very, very sick. She was diagnosed with MS and then ALS, which is a death sentence. And then Lyme disease. And I said, Lyme disease? I had no idea that Lyme disease could do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked back on, on what was going on with my sister. Um, I was just, I was shocked. And, and um, so the, the sort of the trajectory that I took from a, from a person who had uh, no idea of how serious it was to someone looking at, looking at the disease and seeing how really seriously it was, I, I said, I have to tell the story. When did you meet Mandy? I met Mandy right at the beginning, actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mandy wrote to, to us when we started the film. We were looking for characters, and um, she wrote and told us her story, and it was, uh, it was a moving story, and she was just about to get married. Um, and that was the beginning, both of her uh, Lyme journey in terms of treatment and her marriage. How are you doing now, Mandy? Pretty well. I would say anything's better than what I went through. What'd you go through? Um, <clears throat> well, it took me 10 years to go through being healthy to being bedridden and that's not something anyone ever really wants to experience. I was diagnosed with MS, then dystonia, and then I was told it was in my head, so. M Mandy was, uh, was in a wheelchair. I mean, it's impossible to believe. Walk, I couldn't talk, and I was bedridden. All from Lyme disease? All from Lyme disease. How did you get the cure? If you are cured now, are you? No, um, I still have treatment that I have to go mm -hmm. through just because I had it for such a long time mm -hmm. before it was ever really taken care of. Well, then what was the protocol that finally delivered you to, to a normal state? IV um, drugs for about a year is what helped me to kind of overcome that hurdle and then I could go over to uh, orals. So. And there's so many people like Mandy um, who, were di who didn't get the diagnosis and um, never got better. And mm -hmm. that's, that's why it's so important. I'm a filmmaker, but mm -hmm. I've sort of become an accidental activist for Lyme disease. Um, this is something that's killing people and they're dying with, by things like MS or ALS. Um, never knowing that they had Lyme. In some cases, they're passing it on to their children. Um, so, so the film is really meant to wake people sure. up. It's been called the great imposter, but aren't doctors getting a little better at spotting it now, or is it, is it still commonly no. misdiagnosed? It's, it's still commonly misdiagnosed. I, I was diagnosed with Lyme at 19, and then it took 10 years for them to re-diagnose me, mm. and, and that was only four years ago. So. Yeah. There is a big controversy, as you know, and you pointed out right there in your documentary about the whether or not there is actually chronic Lyme disease and whether or not the, the kind of antibiotics you took, these very serious antibiotics for very protracted periods of time, really is necessary. There are people who support evidence-based medicine who say there's no evidence that this really works. What do you say to them? I'm living proof that it does. <laughs> 
so I, I'm obviously not in a wheelchair. I'm, I can walk, I can talk, and, and things are better, so I'd say that mm -hmm. I'm living proof. Mandy couldn't talk at one point. We, I would interview her, and you couldn't understand what she was saying. It sounded like she was just saying gibberish. Yeah. And, um, and, and all these doctors were saying, there's nothing wrong with you. One of them told her that um, she's just trying to get attention. And uh, what would have happened if she, didn't get the, if she didn't get that treatment? Where can we see the documentary? Well, it's uh, theatrical premiere is tonight at the IFC Center right here in New York City. And um, it's opening next week um, in other cities uh, across the country. Um, it's important to say this is not just an East Coast disease. And so we're bringing it to every state. Lyme disease is in every state. And while it's about Lyme disease, it's also about our broken health care system. And that's something that's current. It's in the news today. Mm -hmm. And our, our, our film tells that story. Well, Andy, Mandy, thank you both for coming by to share that story with us. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.